are you trying to squish onto that little bed? Elsie, that's for children. That's the kid's bed. That's the kitty bed. That's the kitty bed. He says, I am a kid. I'm a big kid. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you would like to build a custom website with Squarespace, you can use code Molly Burke to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain name. Sorry, no visitors. Let We're not having any guests in right now. Let me in, please. Okay, only because you asked nicely. Welcome. Oh, welcome, Elton. Look who it is. We've got a guest. Our first guest to our Palm Springs home. So, I thought I would show you guys where my family and I are spending our holidays. We're here for 16 days, so we're gonna be here for Christmas, my parents' 35th wedding anniversary, New Year's, and my mom's birthday. My parents really said, let's cram all the big things into one short span. So their wedding anniversary is like the 28th or 29th of December, and then my mom's birthday is January 1st, so. We're doing it all in one foul swoop. It's going to be myself and my boyfriend, my mom and my dad, and my brother and his wife, who are currently flying in from France. And of course, the man, the myth, the legend, Elton John himself. I wish I could say the one and only, but we all know that's not true because Elton John the singer just had to come along and name himself after my guide dog. You might remember that in Christmas of 2021, my family spent it in this adorable Palm Springs house, and we wanted to recreate that because we had so much fun and we scoured. We scoured the internet for that house again and we couldn't find it. So we tried to find the one that was most like it. We assume the guy who owned it might've sold it or something. I'm not sure, but we found one that kind of has definitely the same vibe. And that one was so cute. Like I would absolutely own a home in Palm Springs and decorate it to have this aesthetic one day. That would be a dream. So let me show you around where my family is gonna be spending our holidays, right? Oh, also, the prints on my, where'd you go? I'm here, I'm here. You can't turn like that on me. The pajamas that I'm wearing, the print is called Palm Springs. I've had them for like a year now, but I obviously had to bring them and wear them. Okay, so front door, orange, very fun and fabulous. Dog being doggy, very fun and fabulous. Okay, then they have this like window here that's fogged glass with this bench. Elton, it off my foot, I can't move. Then we've got this velvet yellow to sit and put your shoes on right uh, right uh, beside the door. By the way, if I sound nasally, it's because I'm just getting over being sick. And if I am loopy, it's because I'm just getting over being sick. So ignore me. Then we come in and we turn right into the living room. There's this adorable record player and it's like turquoise. And then they have this old fashioned phone, which a rotary phone I think it's called. My mom used to call her friends on these in the 60s. <laughs> yeah. And that was our only way of communicating was a phone call. Okay. And you were limited because it was expensive. And then there's art, which my mom said is very nice. It's I gorgeous. I love it. It's, it's so cool. I'll explain it better to you later. Or maybe uh, Robin can do that. In some oh, Robin. Cool. Yeah, you'd be, you'd and be great at that. And then we have a cute little Alexa to play music. I love that it's next to the record player so you can pretend it's the record. Hi, Robin popping in here to describe this painting. It looks like a Photoshop, you know, graphic design painting. It has these retro, it's all retro. It's a funky modern shaped building with a bright red door. The people that are painted on there, the ones inside the building are fully grayed out shapes. And then there are two people on the front lawn, a woman in a 50s style dress, a man in a suit. And then there are three funky old timey looking cars, but they have really sharp edges. The whole painting has these really sharp edges and it's all very blue and green on the background there's a yellow moon up in the corner but then the red door the red dress stand out but also i think there's a bunch of records this was a dog friendly or pet friendly not that elton's a pet so it didn't matter for us but it was pet friendly and kid friendly so they have like a bunch of games and stuff and then there's like the tv area the couch is so funny because it reminds me of our couch at home i'm gonna wander around this way you can tell that like being in Palm Springs in 2021 for Christmas completely inspired me when I decorated my LA place in 2022. You can definitely see like the colorful, fun, funky, vintage vibes that I went for with my place. So this feels very homey to me because of that. Uh, there's lots of different colored pillows. It's like a mustard orange L couch. Love an L couch. Oh, this is fun. 
It's like this big gold camera that's on the coffee table. It immediately made me think of my boyfriend. My boyfriend, my brother, and his wife are all coming later today. And um, my boyfriend's hobby is photography. So this made me think of him. I know he'll love that. Um, yeah, and the pillows are like aqua and orange. And then there's, is the carpet colorful? It is, yeah. It's got little orange bits in it and blues and creams. It's just so fun and funky. And then there's like this cute little chair over here. Doesn't this shape feel very vintage to you, Mom? It does. I love it. I love it. And the texture, like, it's like a felt almost, like a textured felt. I don't know. There's something about it that just screams vintage to me. What color is it? It's orange. Oh my God, so fun. And then there is like a fireplace or something over here. Yeah. A little gas fireplace. Lord. And Molly, behind over here, there's a figure. Maybe you want to go in and feel him there. You can tell I just got here last night and it's the next morning. Like I don't really, oh, this is fun. Isn't that gorgeous? It's what? just all white. That is so fun. It's literally like, um, like a, what, like a mannequin. Yeah. God, can you tell I have sick brain still? One of my few critiques of this place is just the choice in blinds. Simply because not only does it give me PTSD of being in the 90s at the doctor's office, but it just blocks the light. This is all windows. This is floor to ceiling, wall to wall windows, but we, like it's being blocked by these blinds because you can't just like lift them up or pull them to the side. So that is like one of my few critiques of just the design of this place that I would do differently is switch out these blinds for something that can be lifted so all of the beautiful natural light in Palm Springs can come pouring in your living room while you sit right here and have your morning coffee. There's these adorable chairs, which again, just something about the texture of them is giving like retro to me. What color are they? Blue, beautiful blue. Oh, so cute. This is the kids table. Like I said, this is a kids friendly place. So that's like the kids table. And then this is the adults table, which is where all of us will be actually eating together. And they have funky orange and green chairs, um, a nice funky rug underneath. It's just a big, long rectangle table with this nice globe light above it. So we'll be having lots of fun family dinners over here together. I love the mix of just white to keep it like fresh and clean feeling with tons of pops of color to keep it just fun and funky and fresh. I just love it. So then we come into the kitchen. I really love this like very open living room kitchen vibe. Um, we've got more globe lights over the counter, these cute funky bar stools, again, like fun colors. And it's just an all white kitchen, right mom? Yep, all white, but the tiles at the back are beautiful. They're gray with white and then a gold stripe on an Ooh. angle. And it looks so good. Is it like Chevron? I don't know what Chevron is, but... <laughs> <laughs> Somebody called me. Molly, when you studied... Chevron? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> that sounds fun. That sounds like something I would put in my kitchen. Yeah, it is very you. And I saw that, I was like, ah, that's Molly-ish. And then there is a door there that you probably saw to go out to the backyard, but... Nope. Oh, not allowed. We're not going Not allowed, yet. Robin. We're not going okay. yet. Not allowed. Over here, I love this. This is like a little bar area in the kitchen and it has a neon sign that says good vibes only behind the sink, which is just so cute. And you know, being an Irish family at Christmas and New Year's, we'll be utilizing this bar. And then all the three bedrooms are down this hallway. At the end, you might see this big cabinet. We can't get in there, it's locked. I assume that's like personal goods. So on this side, there is one of these shared bathrooms. The bathrooms are nothing special. Like this is another place that I would personally want to do something a bit more fun. Maybe a fun wallpaper, a little bit of nicer lighting. That would just be like my personal choice if I lived here. Um, and it is a standing shower, um, not like a glass one, just like, you know, a little nook. There's a toilet, so we love being able to poop on vacation. Oh, I just thought I turned on the, uh, but it was a fan. Look at that. No, there was another light with it. Look. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. A little more lighting. That's better. And then across the hall, we have a very excited guide doggy, and we've got the first bedroom, which is the kids' room, aka my parents' room, because when we, we love when the parents get old enough that they cycle back and become kids again. This is where my parents are staying. The only other like negative that we've noticed about this place is unfortunately it is like on a very main busy road. So it can get a bit loud with the cars going past. So playing loud music is helping to drown out the sound of traffic, but at night that's a little tricky. So those noise canceling headphones are coming in handy. Um, by the way, we, we booked this place ourselves. Like I'm not being sponsored or gifted this 
by any means this I just wanted to show you guys because you know I love home decor I love home design I love renovations like that's a big passion of mine so and I know a lot of you guys love that kind of stuff too and I just think it's cute so I thought I'd show you guys where we're staying for the holidays but yeah what color are these red oh. and then the the pillows are a lovely yellow red pillow and then there's oh, it's giving um, sheets with pan little pantries on them I feel like the red and yellow is giving like Mario oh yeah it is actually and there's these figurines above their wood they're gorgeous it's a man diving and a woman diving oh cute yeah and they're they're wearing like orange swimsuits adorable i love when people just lean all the way into the palm springs vintage aesthetic it's just so fun and so much more like fun and entertaining than just staying in a random house somewhere come come this way then down the hall we have the second bedroom which is where my brother and his wife are going to be staying their room i think you said it's yellow and blue mom it is yellow and gray and white and then there's artwork over the bed it's really really colorful it's really cool they've kind of got cocktails in their hand and they're dancing they're kind of and then here it says palm springs weekend and california palm springs underneath lovely chair in the room oh yeah in the living room they have like books about palm springs and palm springs magazines and stuff which is very cute too and then oh this is not a door you can now still learning my way around. This is the bedroom that my boyfriend and I are staying in. There's a number of reasons we selected the rooms we did, but this one is perfect for me and my guy Doggy. So this is the room we're staying in. I love like the texture of the bedding. It's just like a super soft fuzzy blankie. And what's great about this room is it does have its own exit into the backyard. So in the morning when Elton needs to go to the bathroom or late at night when he needs to go to the bathroom, I can just get up and let him straight out, which is one of the reasons that we selected this room to be my room. Um, and then the other biggest reason is because it has the bathroom inside of it, which means in the night if I need to go to the bathroom, it's gonna be the easiest for me to navigate to get to the bathroom. So we figured this made the most sense for myself. And um, it also has a nice amount of floor space for Elton, which is great. And we did bring like the insert to his bed. We couldn't bring his whole bed with us, but we brought the insert. So he really appreciates that. What color is this mom? Navy with white. Ooh, very fresh and pooly. And pooly. Pooly. Ex pooly. You might not know that word, and it's because I made it up, which means like aquatic. Big closet. Classic closet, yep. so there's no point in showing you that. We brought my humidifier, very important, because Palm Springs is the dry, dry desert. Um, and then it just has, you know, a TV. This chair was like, we moved it. This isn't where the chair plays as an ottoman as well. For some reason, it was placed like in the corner where it was both blocking the door to get out to the backyard and blocking the bathroom door. So we just pivoted it a bit for the feng shui of the moment, but it was originally kind of shoved like right here in this corner. And then this is the ensuite bathroom, which again is nothing all that special, but it's very nice and functional. We've got a bathtub. Um, oh, and that was the third reason we selected this one for me because it has a bathtub and I'm the only one who takes baths out of the six of us. So made the most sense. Yeah, just toilet, sink, bathtub, slash shower situation. And that's that. And now I want to take you outside. But before we do so, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video. Today's video is sponsored by a longtime partner of this channel, Squarespace. Squarespace is your one-stop shop to build a beautiful online presence for your brand or business. It's where I host my website, mollyburkeofficial.com, and they have everything you need from marketing tools and analytics. You can build an online store to sell digital or physical products. You can schedule appointments. You can have merch and so much more. They have custom templates that you can pick from, tons of them, and you can just plug and play to build a website that looks completely unique from scratch, but is way more cost effective than hiring somebody to actually build one from scratch. And you can use squarespace.com slash Molly Burke to get 10% off a year purchase of a website or domain name. We're now exiting my bedroom into the backyard. I cannot tell you how much Elton John has been living for having a backyard. Like it makes me feel guilty for being an apartment mama because he wants the backyard life. I can tell you that much for sure. He has his little water bowl, which we brought with us, but aesthetically, it's perfect. And then, again, I just got here, okay? I'm learning my way around, so this might be a lot of help from Neve Burke and Robin with giving descriptions. But back here, we have a hot tub, a swimming pool, 
There is a couple of different seating areas, a barbecue. Here in the backyard, we have a beautiful pool, jacuzzi, and lounging setup. There's a hammock to lay on. There's patio furniture with an umbrella over it. There's a blue and a tan umbrella. There's an orange tree that if any of those happen to taste good this time of year, I hope they take advantage of that because having an orange tree is so nice. I grew up with one. And there are on the other side of the yard, two patches of grass. One has the fire pit with some furniture around it. The other patch has some very cushy lounge chairs that honestly look like if you turned a giant lounge chair into a pillow, I'm not sure how else to describe it. And then some more normal classic looking lounge chairs right next to it. There is a longer table where it looks like you could just like move your dinner time evening straight outside. And it has six bright orange chairs on each of the long sides of the table. And then at the each end of the table, there are turquoise chairs, which keeps with the theme that we saw throughout the rest of the video with the blue orange retro -y vibe. So beautiful, so fun, so relaxing. All right, so that is where my family and I have booked to stay for the holidays. I think it's absolutely adorable. I think if I had to pick, I do personally like the aesthetic a little bit more of the first place that we stayed at. I'll link that tour at the end here. Um, if you wanna check that place out, let me know which one you prefer. I, th I mean, they're almost neck and neck, like they're so similar. We definitely managed to find a place that had the closest kind of aesthetic and vibe to that place. And I'm really excited. We just got here last night, like I said, so still settling in and getting used to it. I'm getting healthy just on time to enjoy the holidays with my family, which I'm very happy about. I feel like uh, absolutely everybody in LA is getting sick right now, so couldn't be avoided, but I'm, like I said, getting better just on time to enjoy Palm Springs. And I know Elton John is gonna be enjoying this place probably more than all of us combined. We couldn't pack up the car and bring everything we wanted to, um, but my boyfriend is picking up anything we left and bringing it down for us today, which includes our Christmas decor. So we are bringing like a little Christmas tree and Christmas pillows just to make the space feel more festive and totally us. So I'll have Robin insert some B-roll with our Christmas tree where we end up putting it and some of the holiday festive pillows, which I think will just make it feel that much more homey for the holidays because sometimes it can feel a little weird like not being in your space for the holiday season but i think as we get older you know my family like we're such a global family we all live in different places we all travel a lot and holidays at this age it's not about the traditions as much as it is about just being together for us it's such a privilege to spend time together because it's not something we get often with my brother living in europe and my mom and I moving back and forth between BC and LA all the time and traveling a lot with work. So it's just gonna be really nice to all have a few weeks to like be together. And even for my boyfriend and I, being in a long distance relationship for the past 10 months is not easy. And this will be the longest stretch of time we'll get to spend together in our entire 10 months that we've been together. So that's gonna be really, really nice. And that's the thing that I'm truly most looking forward to and that matters most around the holiday season. We'll just be enjoying lots of food, having some nice drinks by the fire pit. That was like number one to us was getting a fire pit and we got it. So we're really excited about that. And obviously it is just a luxury to get to take a vacation together as a family. And I know that's not something everybody gets to do. So I'm feeling very blessed, feeling super lucky. Everything's working out for the best and I couldn't be more grateful. Couldn't be more grateful to having sponsors that support me and allow things like this to actually even happen to begin with. So thank you again to Squarespace and use squarespace.com slash Molly Burke to get 10% off your purchase of a website or domain. And of course, thank you to all of you. This is my second last video of 2023. It's been an incredible year following some really bad years, <laughs> like three really rough years, especially 2022 was particularly rough. And I just feel really, really, really lucky. And I'm so grateful to have all of you entering hopefully another fantastic year that is 2024 ahead. I've got some exciting things in the works that I really can't wait to share with all of you. And uh, until then, you click over here to see that Palm Springs house tour from 2021 or over here if you want some drama and you wanna hear about how bad 2022 was, you can watch that video. And uh, if neither of those suit your fancy, I posted two videos that I'm super proud of recently. Uh, blind Leading the Blind series, where I learned how to play blind soccer from the amazing Toby in the UK, or uh, a video where I did some more blind gaming with the incredible Ross. 
uh, playing a racing game for the blind. So any of those videos might strike your fancy and I will see you in the next one, which will be my what I got for Christmas video. Yes, this is my last video before Christmas. So Merry Christmas, happy holidays to all of you. I hope it's wonderful and amazing. You stay healthy, happy, safe, and warm wherever you are. Sending love, bye.